Hello everyone, I'm Husker Eurocat and this is Tiger Woods PGA Tour Golf. I welcome you back to the Foggy Nelson Career Mode series and in this episode you'll see coverage of the final round of the WGC Cadillac Championship. Brought to you from the Blue Monster Course at the Trump National Doral Golf Club. Foggy is riding high, shooting 19 under par in his last two rounds and has had a lot of attention over the last couple of days. Looking at the pre-round leaderboard, Bubba Watson has gained one shot on him, so he only has a three-shot lead now. And there are lots of big-name contenders that are following close on his heels, including Patrick Reed, Rory McIlroy and Adam Scott, to name just a few. Is Foggy going to be able to stay focused so that he can stay on top of the leaderboard and win his first tournament of his career? Let's find out. He's ready for his round of golf, so let's join him on the first tee. And we thank you for joining us for the final round of the WGC Cadillac Championship, and we'll see you after the round. That was a huge tee shot. There it is, an eagle. Handle the pressure there to sink that body part. Great finish for Birdie. We're heading towards a water hazard there. I don't think that'll be good.
Like the looks of this one, it's just fine. Ooh, I'd be very happy with a shot like this. And that's going to be short. Not a terrible shot. Whoa, I wish I could hit it half that distance and fit into those pants. Need more time in this shot, it's going to be short. I have my dogs. Gets his palm. Oh, I got all of that, David. Well, could be better, but it's on. Where's the breeze? Clutch putt for birdie. Giving the five wood a try.
nicely played on this one. your birdie. Oh. Well, I hope there is no problems where this one is going. Gets his ball. He's got this going right out. Finds the cup for a birdie there. <laughs> Looks like the next shot will be from the rough. I don't think this is going to get them. It's a bad break here. This one's flight was arrested, and no, it's in a sandy jail. Nothing wrong with that shot. Looks good. This looks good. Right down the middle.
This isn't the straightest looking shot in the world. gets his ball. Welcome back everyone. Not quite the stellar performance that Foggy had in his last two rounds, but he won the tournament. As my wife is fond of saying, this is a red letter day on Foggy's calendar and forever will be remembered as the day that he won his first career tournament. If we take a look at Foggy's scorecard, why the way that he started out, I thought that he was just going to walk away with this tournament because in his first three holes he had an eagle followed up by two birdies. But then reality struck on the number four par three where he put two in the water and came away with a quadruple bogey. That isn't a hole that you just forget. That is a hole that once you get off the green, you have to do a shakedown dance to get that out of your head. It would seem that he did a fine job because he still finished with a two under par on the front nine. On the back nine, he was able to shoot a three under, so that made for a total of five under for his round today. And where did that finally put him for the tournament? at 24 under par, earning him 1.4 million for the win of this tournament and three shots clear of Bubba Watson. And now it's time for the shot of the day. And this happened on the very first hole. Par five, second shot, 197 yards in, just a hint of a breeze from the left, with a six iron and foggy puts it within 11 inches of the cup and he would go on to eagle that from there what a start to a wonderful day for him and now it's time for the end of the tournament stats the all-time world ranking foggy has moved up from number 23 all the way to number eight with that win and he made it to the first page of the FedEx Cup points leaderboard as well, moving from 29 to number 10. And on the money list, he's now at number 4, just over 1.9 million in 8 events. If we take a look at Foggy's tournament player stats, we see that his putting is getting better, a reflection of his better play as of late. The two top 10 finishes and one win doesn't hurt anything either. In average driving distance, he's now number one at just over 303 yards per drive. In his scoring average, obviously better in this last tournament, he's tied for 15th with Matt Kutcher. So some work to do in that area. In his event history, Foggy has now been in eight events, has made the cut in six of them, and has won one tournament and been in 
the top 10 in one. Is Foggy going to be able to continue to walk down the successful path that he's been on? Let's find out in our next tournament. Next up is the Arnold Palmer Invitational at Bay Hill Club and Lodge. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you would like to be notified when there is a new one, subscribe by clicking on my icon at the end of the video. Until we see you next time at Bay Hill Club and Lodge, we thank you for joining us for the WGC Cadillac Championship. Have a good day, everyone.